Yeah, good morning, friends. Welcome to Kishan's KSS Education YouTube channel, and uh, welcome to e-governance through Twitter series. And uh, today is seventeenth September, twenty twenty, and uh, uh, I am starting with a beautiful quote, which is given by our Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji, and uh, on his uh, birthday. today the my gout india and the twitter handle has mentioned and uh, we should uh, the birthday wishes to the honorable prime minister narendra modi ji and in that it is highlighted by hashtag my gout morning musings and as well as happy birthday namo and here the narendra modi has mentioned that uh, um, the, the people's participation is the essence of good governance which is mentioned by uh, our prime minister narendra modi ji next so which is uh, mentioned under the my gout india twitter handle so here it is uh, a i mean the government is seeking i mean uh, a design which is uh, helpful for the e-commerce portal which is going to be uh i mean implemented by ministry of textiles the ministry of textiles textiles as uh, as calling the design of logo uh, for uh, startups and other uh, interested people uh, for e-commerce portal which is going to be maintained by ministry of textiles so dear friends please visit uh, mygo.in and based on the requirements and uh, criteria of the ministry of textiles Uh, if you interested in that uh, design logo and you can proceed further uh, for this uh, logo uh, the ministry of textiles also mentioned that there is uh, a cash prize is there for 10000 rupees uh, for the best logo which is designed by uh, people from all over india yes the next step is uh, talking about the niti ayog the niti ayog mentioned under this the millets are high in dietary fiber and micronutrients such as calcium iron and phosphorus so this is about millets so this has highlighted by hashtag #local for portion and um, uh, the important uh, fact about here millets india is the world's largest producer of millets harvesting 11 million tons annually nearly 40% of the global output this is a very uh, welcoming step uh, which is uh, Uh, government of india is taking tremendous um, uh, i mean efforts towards to uh, strengthen our nutrition efforts under the name of poshan abhiyan and then uh, which is uh, about uh, invest india twitter handle uh, this is highlighted by building new india so in this to realize the new india's vision so for making mass rapid transit systems available in the over 50 cities by 2025 the government of india has launched uh, 212 projects under the nip nip is nothing but here national infrastructure pipeline the national infrastructure pipeline is a major initiative which is uh, undertaken by the government of india to strengthen the i mean multi dimensional infrastructure in each and every field in the country so in this nip program the government has going to uh, spend 102 lakh crores in the coming 5 years so in this the government has mentioned two classification of infrastructures uh, one is uh, economic infrastructure and one is social infrastructure the social infrastructure which is related to and uh, educational infrastructure and uh, i mean um, and health infrastructure so other social well being infrastructure as well so this is related to the nafid uh, nafid here is nothing but national agriculture cooperative marketing federation of india limited so in this the ministry of agriculture and farmers welfare the government of india has sanctioned procurement of green gram home and block gram urad under the price support scheme in the state of karnataka during this kharif season of 
NAFED is making necessary arrangement to undertake the procurement operations as well. So this is related to, uh, which is mentioned under Twitter handle of Ministry of Labor, Government of India. So this uh, related to uh, the information related to the PM Swanidhi scheme, the PM Swanidhi scheme to facilitate collateral free working capital loan up to rupees 10,000 of one year tenure to approximately 50 lakh street vendors to resume their businesses. And this uh, fact has mentioned and highlighted by hashtag labor ministry uh, fights corona. So uh, this is a brief history about the PM uh, Swanidhi scheme uh, here. PM Street Vendors Atmanibbar Nidhi, that is simply PM Vanidhi, was launched by the Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs on June 1, 2020, for providing affordable working capital loan to street vendors to resume their livelihood that have been adversely affected due to COVID-19 pandemic. So the benefits are mentioned under this scheme or and here vendors can avail a working capital loan of up to 10,000, which is repayable in monthly installments in the junior of one year. And uh, the timely or early payment of loan and interest subsidy 7% per annum will be credited to the bank accounts of beneficiaries through DBT scheme. And there will be no penalty on early payment of loan. And the scheme promotes digital transactions through cash back incentives up to amount of 100 rupees per month. The vendors can avail the facility of escalation of credit limit and timely and early repayment of loan. This is a brief discussion, I mean, brief description about the PM Swanity scheme. And next, uh, we are talking about the PIB India Press Information Bureau of India's uh, information. Uh, is uh, in this uh, here mentioned this Gandhipedia. Uh, one of the portal is going to be developed uh, by the uh, PAB India in association with IIT Karakpur and IIT Gandhi Naga. So the Gandhipedia is, uh, uh, it is an creation of digital repository uh, by creating available Gandhian literature, including the text and video forms and audio resources of the Gandhiji. Uh, this was highlighted by under Asta Gandhi 150 and this is about the niti ayog so then in this mention a malnutrition hotspot dashboard uh, has developed in aspirational districts and uh, balrampur by swast bharat prerak and the dashboard provides data which helps to identify a cluster of cases to tackle malnutrition at the local level the use of data science. So this information is highlighted uh, with the hashtag of Potion Mark 2020. Uh, here Potion Mark 2020 is nothing but it is a portion month of uh, 2020 and uh, which is uh, uh, taken as a, uh, I mean, uh, to strengthen the nutritional, uh, uh, I mean, in the, in the, in India. So this was uh, highlighted by the Ministry of Women and Child Development, Government of India. This has recently organized an orientation workshop uh, for various stakeholders for participating a portion mark that is nothing but National Nutrition Month. So here this month is going to be celebrated in the month of September 2020 from first to end of the September. This portion mark is going to be organized by the majorly the Ministry of Women and child development. So here in this, the month lag incentive campaign will be undertaken um, with the aim of reaching every household with message of nutrition. So every house is celebration of nutrition. So in this, uh, in this nutrition uh, month uh, campaign portion of mean campaign, it will promote um, the care of uh, uh, children and best feeding and fight against anemia and convey messages and giving information about the importance of nutrition for especially girls and as well as to other people. And uh, this will jointly organized by Niti Ayog and Ministry of Women 
and child development as well as health and family welfare panchayati raj rural development drinking water and sanitation housing and urban affairs human resource development information and broadcasting consumer affairs food and public distribution tribal affairs minority affairs and aish ministry collectively so main the main object of this uh, portion mark 2020 is the celebration of portion mark is to be take message of portion to grassroots level this is about the portion mark 2020 and uh, this is uh, about uh, income tax department of india so under this mention cbdt issues a reference of over rupees uh, 1,6470 crore to more than 30.92 lakh taxpayers between 1st april 2020 to 15th september 2020 so the income tax reference of rupees 31741 crore have been issued in the uh, in 29 lakh 17169 cases and corporate tax reforms of rupees Ah, uh, seventy-four thousand seven twenty-nine crore have been issued in one one lakh seventy-four thousand and six hundred and thirty-three cases. This is about it. Come back, and uh, here the PIB mentioned here, and the PIB here mentioned uh, that uh, uh, yesterday the Parliament passes an Institute of Teaching and Research in Ayurveda Bill twenty twenty. This uh, bill paves the way to establish a state-of-the-art Ayurveda. An institution called the Institute of Teaching and Research in Ayurveda at Jamnagar, Gujarat. If you want to know uh, a detailed information about this uh, bill, please go through the uh, link mentioned here. And this is uh, about uh, Ministry of uh, Culture. And here, the Ministry of Culture mentioned here the tribute to legendary Carnatic vocalist, uh, sorry, Miss Balakshmi Ji, one of the gems of Indian classical music, on her birth anniversary. And this is about uh, Ministry of Jal Shakti. Uh, today, they they celebrated the Swasti Foundation. That is not the Swasti Foundation is an NGO, uh, which is there in Bangalore based NGO, which have wide global and national reach. That has been working to provide water, sanitation, and hygiene facilities to rural and urban poor communities. This is uh, highlighted by hashtag celebrating NGO and the benefits of motivation. And this is about. Uh, Um, I mean, Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology, Government of India, the and uh, aligned with uh, National Jal Jeevan Mission. So here, under this National Jal Jeevan Mission, an ICT grant challenge is uh, a, a program is going to be organized by the Ministry of uh, Electronics and IT that that is going to invite the applications from various Indian. Uh, startups and MSMEs, companies and innovators to give solutions to the uh, technology based uh, uh, for the um, for the Jal Jeevan Mission program. So here, uh, how to develop smart water and supply measurement and monitoring system. And uh, for this, the government, as mentioned, is a uh, data information uh, under JJM dot gov dot in. So in this, the government uh, is going to be given awards under uh, the First prize winner fifty lakh rupees and second prize uh, runner up twenty lakh uh, rupees each. Two persons for runner up. And uh, the next uh, this uh, information is related to Ministry of Education and Government of India. Uh, Nishta twenty nineteen twenty two twenty twenty. So Nishta uh, is about uh, it is a program which is organized by the Ministry of uh, Education Government of India. So here, the Nishta is nothing but National Initiative for Schools, Heads, and Teachers Holistic Advancement. Uh, it is a program uh, has been launched for the first time in online mode in the state of Andhra Pradesh. So what are the key points? The initially the Nishta program was launched in 2019, and through face-to-face -face mode to improve learning outcomes at the elementary level in the country. So here yeah, the majorly aim of nishta is capacity building program for improving the quality of school education through integrated teacher training and the nishta aims to build competencies among all teachers and school principals at the elementary stage so this is about the nishta program and uh, this uh, related to minister of culture government of india here they ensuring livelihood security to autistic community in this the government of india under the ministry of culture has mentioned some of the information a grant of rupees 
1,462.69 lakh to overtis community under various central sector schemes. So financial assistance of rupees 9, 927.83 lakh to overtis by zonal cultural centers. And monetary benefit also provided to the autistic community uh, to 32 artists through webinars organized by Sangeet Natak Academy. And 11 lakh uh, released to senior artists to 15 Disha programs and 16 lakh released to artists of uh, Yog Pao. So this is about Minister of Education. Uh, in this dimension, uh, a new center institution for regional languages. So establishment of centers of excellence in the study of classical languages, including Sanskrit, Tamil, Telugu, Kannada, Malayalam, and Odia. Strengthening of Sanskrit and other classical languages department in universities. So here the classical languages, the classical languages um, as there uh, till now in India, there are only eight uh, classical languages as mentioned um, the, in the statutory act. Um, and then establishment of national institution of Pali, Persian and Prakrit to collect Pizu, translate and manuscripts. Establishment of academics of uh, major Indian languages. It's also related to Minister of Education, furthering learning of languages at early stage. Early implementation of three language formula in schools, mother tongues to be the medium of instruction at primary level, inclusion of proficiency in Indian languages for recruitment to encourage learning of Indian languages, scope for learning regional languages along with English and foreign languages as well. So this, uh, this talks about uh, uh, promoting of form mechanization, uh, the program under mentioned the uh, Kritagya. So uh, there are, uh, so here, what is Kritagya? The Kritagya explains Kri for Krishi, that is nothing but agriculture. Cha for um, Taknik, that is nothing but technology. And Gya for Gnan, that is Nila, knowledge. So this Kritagya event will give an opportunity to students, faculty, and entrepreneurs, uh, innovator, and I mean, start companies and others uh, to innovate approaches and technology solutions to promote form mechanization in India. Such initiatives under NAHEP along with Agriculture Engineering, Division of ICAR will also help in enhancing learning capabilities, innovations and dis uh, disruptive solutions, employability and entrepreneurial drive in the FM sector, uh, form mechanization sector, and hence will boost the mechanization level in the country. So for this, they, we have the dates from 15th September to 13th September. Date of registration is uh, allowing by the government. And uh, uh, if you want to go for that, uh, uh, link is mentioned here. So for this, if you give the form mechanization uh, technique uh, for the government, if the government satisfied from that uh, your uh, innovation, then the government is going to be give first prize of five lakh rupees, second prize three lakh, and third prize uh, one lakh rupees. And uh, thank you very much for patience listening and uh, uh, please like, share and comment Kishan's Cases Education YouTube channel.